For most guys I went to school with in 1972, junior year was a time of exploration. A time for expanding horizons, broadening perspectives, seeking answers to little known questions. It was an opportunity to grapple with the great issues of our day, which as it happened, boiled down to only two. As compared to now, by the end of 1972, there's going to be 40 One of them was sex. So, now is everybody paying attention? Miss Farmer, our social studies teacher. Who can tell me the names of three African republics? No one? Let's look at a map. In one of the great cosmic ironies of our time, the Board of Education had hired her to mold and develop our formative young minds. Dominic, can you point out Liberia on the map? It's, uh, that yellow one right there. <laughs> Perhaps you could come up and show us. I can't. My foot's asleep. Not an uncommon ailment in social studies that year. All right. Why doesn't everybody just pass up their assignments? All in all, if you were 16 and male, it was agony. And no one was immune. Which brings me back to the point. For teenage boys, there were only two great issues. Sex. That'll be 369. And, of course, economics. Uh, sure. 